fire packs these fire packs i received for free so this is a basically a paid promotion but i'm gonna show to you my opinions the positive and negative we have just a small amount of the fire packs in the unreal marketplace and these particles are very difficult for create by ourselves all of these examples and how you can use some fires for be more optimized in your scene so all of these fires in the in the walls these need to be used in the background so it will be far for the player so like like here is fire for the player and you don't need to see the fire from above so because this is a rotating meshes so if you go inside you will break the, the illusion of this fire because this is very optimized but if you are at this range will be fine this asset they use the cascade system this is old and now in the unreal we use the niagara assistant this is more optimized you can create a lot of the particles and they use both so basically he creates the small fire from the cascade to niagara and niagara also have the influence of the the wind so as you can see the the smoke are moving with the okay like here also my computer don't have a nice gpu so this is why we have some bottleneck but are fine and in the cascade these don't have the influence of the of the wind so this this fire will be for background like this distance would be okay and if you want to use the the old cascade you can use this part is the cascade and as you can see the difference is if you walk on the background you will break your illusion but if you walk in this this since is a, a real particle system we have some sparks we have some smoke and we can see the fire from from above i don't know what the difference in english between above or below so i'm sorry and you can walk and view looks fine okay you can walk on your fire of course you not will take damage because this is the default third person to add damage you need to add a box collision for cause the damage and as you can see some negative points i get this october or november and i don't record any video also um, maybe in the unreal marketplace since they launched in december they are fixed and i also send an email to them to fix and of course this not look so optimized because i have an old gtx graphics card and all of this fire was from cascade and now let's go to niagara i love this tiny this tiny file looks like from from the tomb raider inspiration looks insane you can use you can put this fire and attach in your torch will be very nice to see this you can use for campfire you know looks so amazing this smoke looks so cool you could you could use for anything so remember you can use this fire if you if you player will interact so use this niagara if you're very far you can use some of the planes right there i'm gonna demonstrate for you later and we have some fires with more turbulence more sparkles this is like from some some explosion of fuel maybe this you can use for some crash and of course you can scale i'm gonna show to you now all of the rest of the features 
this thing don't look so optimized and I delete all of this of the illumination let's get started this you can open the Niagara the Niagara system and I don't have any idea how the Niagara system works but it looks like we have some problems your new fire based on these parameters of the already use it so you can modify increase the size change out these things i don't know how this works because i've used just the cascade and in this example we have a blueprint so right here you can put the size of two of for this fire maybe we can increase a lot more like them so it will be a big fire looks nice as you can see since are very very large they are rotating because they try to do the optimization so it will be just like the fires from the background maybe you don't need to scale too much but let's check another parameters you can increase the brightness no brightness the default let's put a large number maybe 10 and you can see it's very very strong the the brightness I don't like this but maybe you can change the colors like you put a blue color and this parameter looks cool I will put the default for we see the orange colors and the turbulence is in one let's put in just 10% let's see how this will behave looks like a very fast so maybe yeah we need to verify is better we learn how we can use the the Niagara system but let's put in one again this is the turbulence and the flames the flames you can increase the speed or decrease let's let's decrease looks like so fast dot one hmm the minimum is one so we can't use yeah the minimum of this will be one but i can increase a lot more the the speed of these flames looks very repetitive of course i've increased a lot the, the scale of of this fire but i hope you understand this because we can change a lot of these things the smoke density let's see this is the smoke let's increase the density so now we have a more strong smoke let's try a lot more the maximum is three you can of course edit this blueprint to disable the maximum amount and but i don't be open because we will expose how they made it the lifetime is when this will end so let's put the maximum looks like it's two so now the smoke will be a lot more right there before they they disappear let's see if we can increase more lifetime as you can see now we go a lot up but looks like don't have so much movement but yeah you can use this for your campfire to do your screenshots will be very cool so one another problem 
is in the Niagara if we have the influence of the wind or our fire will be rotating so you lose the contact of the ground and this is based on camera position so maybe not will be so good I email them to the fix this because if you have the your fire right here stuck in the in the position you will have the, your top flames moving with the in, the wind will be very cool and not will break the the experience like from this position looks like the fire are are rotating you see they lose the contact with the with the ground i will give a zoom for you verify better and this is to all the flames so i will escape the difference between the cascade systems and the niagara is the cascade is the old particle system so you can't increase the size of the of the fire also if you want to change the the velocity of the flames you can just duplicate your fire and set up new parameters from from here and in the niagara we have the blueprint so you can use with the change in the variables so it will be more easy to scale the flames right here from the size you can change the the brightness the turbulence the speed of the flames and of course if you know how to use the niagara you can you can modify and create your own fire based in these parameters okay so so we'll be more advanced and this is why it looks better because we have the the smoke and we can change the size of the smoke for example i will get uh, it's hard to control okay so in the smoke density you can increase the density to be more, more strong the lifetime you can increase so with the lifetime longer you will see the smoke disappear after a long period you can generate the a campfire and this is unlimited you can put of course if you use the wind this not will look so nice when we play in the niagara maybe they update the system since as you can see the fire are rotating since the beginning so the left foot don't have the fire on the ground looks like i rotating on the mesh and maybe in the marketplace this will be fixed because i've sent an email to them and this fire looks like broken but it's okay i received this in the october so it was a long time ago and they need to have a new update for these fires okay